gentlemen, our second semi-final is about to take flight. Let's play darts for comic relief. Side Friendly Green for the second semi-final of Let's Play Darts for Comic Relief. Our celebrity and professional players have paired up to raise money for Red Nose Day. And so far, Lee Mack and Wolfie Adams have booked their place in the final. Now, Tim, Daryl, Roisin and Richie are hoping to do the same. To win this match, all of our players will need to hold their nerve and let go of their darts. Let's meet them. Here they are, our semi-finalists. Tim, yes. I sense a little bit of tension, nerves perhaps. Yes, just well, I've only you. played darts on telly once before. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm honest with you. But you so, did it so uh, well. Do you know what? My, my, my whole approach last time was enjoy it. I mean, I know Lee from, from many, many years, and we are mad darts fans, so we cannot believe we're even here. So I'm going to go on the stage and, uh, and enjoy it mainly, because this could be the last game, so I just want to enjoy myself and yeah. have good fun. Yeah. 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 Okay. And Daryl. Playing in a doubles match, I imagine it's, it's, it's quite difficult the best of times, but when you've got a player who's not a professional, is it, yeah. is it tough for you to get into a rhythm? Are the professionals finding it a bit tough? I think tough? It's, any, any pair's games, it's, it's tough to get into a rhythm. And if you're having a bit of fun like we've been doing, well, then, it, you know, sometimes it's five, yeah. six minutes without throwing. But I tell you what, Richie, being with uh, an amateur didn't affect your performance, did it? Because that was a, a spectacular match. And the 180... Brilliant. Yeah, no, no, I, th I thought we'd done right. Richie was amazing. He was you're really great. Doing better today. I'm doing better today. Are, but, we, um, are we lying now? <laughs> <laughs> the moment of this entire thing is that double top. <laughs> that is Thank a you. moment. That will be the moment with a world champion waiting on a double. It, it was spectacular because there was little sign of it coming. <laughs> <laughs> and that, that's the most delicately put way to say it. <laughs> what have um, you got up your sleeves today? Um, yeah. <laughs> I've just got a lot of. I've got a lot of faith in in. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> in magic. <laughs> <laughs> OK, guys, good luck and go out there, enjoy it, cos you never know, it might be the last time Absolutely. you're on stage at Lakeside. Obviously, Richie and Daryl, that's to these two, <laughs> not to you two. <laughs> <laughs> guys, I think it's going to be a fantastic match. I'll leave you there to get yourselves into the zone and prepare for that semi-final and those magnificent walk-ons, of course, while I join Tony O'Shea for his expert opinion. Now, Richie played a blinder, didn't he, in that quarter-final. Oh. Is he the one to watch? Uh, he's not the only one to watch in this game, but Richie played brilliant in the quarters. I think he's going to have to do the same again, probably even better, to, uh, to keep him in this game. Tim is an incredibly talented amateur, isn't he? And we saw that. His performance was cool and he takes it very, very seriously. Mm -hmm. uh, Lee Mack has got through to this final with a different approach, but brilliant dance. Mm -hmm. What advice would you give to Tim if he wants to be at the top of his game today? Well, he played well and, and we were watching him early on. He's practised well today and he looked more serious than the professionals this morning and he, and he really is up for it. I just hope he doesn't get carried away and, and want it too much. And Roisin, of course, had uh, a mixed game leading up to that final dart. What advice would you give her about the rest of her game? I wouldn't change anything because she <laughs> hit the most important dart of the match and uh, if she does that again, she'll be more than happy no matter what happens before that. Take the glory shot. Correct, yeah. Absolutely. Correct. Does that sway the way you're thinking this match is going to go, I wonder? Go on, call it for us. I think the boys uh, will get through this game and make up the dream final. So, Tim and Daryl for the final, you think? OK, well, thank you so much, Tony. Now, we're not just here to enjoy the darts, of course. Our players are here to raise as much money as they can for Red Nose Day, and there's still time for you to get involved by going to the address on the screen and downloading a fundraising pack. But now the time has come to play some darts. For one lucky pair, victory is waiting in the wings. For the other, defeat is just around the corner. Let's go across to the stage where MC Rab Butler is ready to introduce the players. Just two years after turning professional, he made it to the BDO World Championship semi-finals. Darts is in his DNA. Please welcome Rishi Rich George! <laughs> She's a stand-up comic, 
and impractical <laughs> joker and co-star of sitcom Man Down. Please be upstanding for Roisin, the <laughs> wedding slinger, Kennedy! <laughs> the semi-finals of the BDO World Championship. He can boast a nine-dart finish. He's Daryl. He's the Dazzler. It's Daryl the Dazzler Fitter! <laughs> He's a comedian who holds a world record for telling the most jokes in one hour. He puts the fun into puns. Take cover. Here comes the pun away train. Tim Vine. <laughs> And in the commentary booth, as ever, two men who live, breathe and, more importantly, speak dance. It's Tony Green and Vassos Alexander, and they're joined by Bob Mortimer, who was knocked out by Roisin in the last round. First leg, it's Tim to throw first. Game on! So, just to remind you, it's the best of 11 legs. Now, Tim started with a 140 in his quarter-final. No pressure, Tim. Oh, unlucky. 85. It'll be nice. Good darts, though, once again. Good grouping, all very close to that treble 20. Rasheen is... Well, she got a treble 20. <laughs> she did. She did well as well. She travels Rasheed. around the board a bit more, doesn't she? 134. That's what they call switching to 19s, and that's how to do it, by the way. Bobby Jr. 96. Bob Mortimer with us for this semi-final. Hello, that's us. Hiya. How was it up on stage? Well, it's um, nerve-wracking, but it was great fun playing Machine. Two equally bad players. <laughs> it looked like you were having fun. Yeah, it was great fun. Rasheen told me this morning that she's going to just aim for the centre of the board and see what happens today. I thought that's what she was doing when she was playing you. <laughs> yeah, I suppose it was, yeah. <laughs> to be fair, she hit the winning double. She did. She's a nice girl. Good company. Oh, well played, Richie. Timmy McQuire, 131. There's Lisa Tarbuck there, just taking it all in. 57. Good counting from Tim. You can always tell a dark player when they don't pause between shots. Going for 1-3-1, one, one. knew that the cover shot was the 17s. Daryl, you require 74. So this will be 14s and 16s for Daryl for the first leg. So 20 in tops now. One dart at double top. 54. So a chance. Richie, you require 157. Trouble 20. Left trouble 19. No. So Daryl will certainly be back. 54. Double 10 the shot. <laughs> 
Timmy Aquire, 20. Come on, Timmy, he's got his steam up. Can he get double 10? Take this first leg, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Fitton. It's the personalities that's doing it. God dear. Second leg, it's Roisin to throw first. Game on. Here's leg two, and Team Roisin and Richie are in a bit of trouble. Down to a finish already. Tim and Daryl. Well, in this leg, Daryl's at 114 and 125. So an out shot now. <laughs> choo choo. Good marker. Wants one there off that barrel. At least go for it. <laughs> He's in training, I think. Oh dear. Still got a bit of time. Still on two four four. So Bob, is there a bit of banter backstage? Yeah, very much so. Um the darts players hate each other just as much as all his comics do. Good to hear. He's looking at double seven. I'm only kidding. They all get on very well. <laughs> double two. For two. That's one eight four before the throw. Fifty seven. Well, she's on a finish. All of a sudden, Tim requires four. Rashid and Richie are back in this leg. Tiny bit of pressure here, Tim. Games. Oh, pressure. Pressure, what pressure? Well done, well done. Well done, well done. Good fighting. Third leg, it's Tim to throw first. Game on. It's the lads that's doing the damage in most of the matches. It's a 12, isn't it? That's better. 92. Another good start from Tim. He's hit two doubles. He's scoring as well. He's in his element. His party trick, we hear, 18. is catching a dart behind his ear. Now that I would like to see. One hundred. That's the star of the show. Fifty-eight. Richie was on fire in his quarter-final, not, uh, not quite so on it tonight. 